Diploma zama na inje analyst kasa passport ambassador ya Marvel Bond boy na Orlando. Ambassador, I love that. So today, why are why are we here, Baba? We're here today. Um, Mario Bonvoy and Orlando Pirates are launching uh, Orlando Pirates themed rooms at uh, Fire and Ice in Melrose. I think this is an amazing initiative that uh, Mario promised uh, to the supporters of Orlando Pirates to say they will have a themed room. Um, I went upstairs last night, I saw the room. A lot of emotions in the books. Um, I went back this morning to just double check on that room, it looks amazing. I think the, the history that is on the coffee table, um, second to none, uh, it brings you up to speed in terms of the history of the club. Um, the legends uh, at the mural just uh, on top of the bed, uh, I think that's, that's an amazing history. Uh, looking at the, at the history that Orlando Pirates has retired uh, the MTN8 trophy says a lot uh, because the ball that is signed by all the squad members that won the trophy uh, is part of the memorabilia on the wall. You know, also uh, there's a soccer boot that is there where uh, the head coach Jose Rivero has signed. I think that's also amazing but you'll see a lot of elements when you go through the room. Uh, different elements talking about the Soweto Towers. That is a standout for me. It represents uh, the club so well, and I think that's why we're here today to, to launch those team rooms. And one thing that uh, Mario Bonvoy and Orlando Pirates have done is they have opened up the room uh, to everyone in the in the country, everyone in the continent, to say you can book that room. It's not exclusive yeah. to Orlando Pirates. Uh, it's not exclusive to Mario Bonvoy uh, members. So it's a great issue. So have you been to the room and you slept and you had the experience and the players as well? Um, the rooms are going to be opened up to everyone and that's why they were given a date to say I think um, they said two weeks from now. Oh. Uh, people so you don't have the experience as yet? Book, um, I'm sure in the course of of this week, I yeah. have uh, that opportunity to go to go sleep in that room, and I can't wait for that uh, for that evening where I, I get to spend the evening here. So, the, my thinking was, I wanted also to know the inspiration behind this whole thing. Who approached who? Was it Orlando Pirate that went to them, or Mario came to you guys? It's it's a partnership. Partnership. Uh, it's a partnership where um, a lot of ideas are discussed between these two amazing friends, uh, Mario Bonvoy and Orlando Pirate, and I think. Uh, the creative team also yeah. worked, did an enormous job in terms of coming up with a group. Um, a lot of people would expect uh, synthetic grass, uh, they would expect gold posts, yeah. uh, maybe for, for the way group to look like a rocker room, you know, but I think it's exquisite in the way that it was done. The finishing is amazing. Uh, it's not too much in your face, mm. but you can see uh, the footprint of a And it's, a first, it's a, actually the first of its kind in Africa, I assume, the themed room that is. It's the first in the continent to Ooh. have a, a, a theme. So Pagania is, is even, setting trends now. It's a trendsetter. Yeah. Because uh, if you speak about uh, the star on top of the page, uh, we were the first in the Paris to get it. And now we are coming up with themed rooms. Yeah. You know, it's the first on the continent. And it says a lot about the club and being trendsetters. So it's El Tata the Cup? Um, it's going to be very difficult. I know. Because um, you're looking at Skukune that uh, are the second best scorers in terms of the Netherlands Cup. Um, they beat the best scorers in Stellenbosch. Uh, they put them out. That says a lot about uh, Skukune and what they want to do. Mm. Uh, the one mistake that Orlando Pirates can make is underestimate yeah. Skukune. The final still needs to be played and uh, a game still needs to be won. It's not going to be easy. And uh, I think it's going to be a 50 50 opportunity uh, to Orlando Pirates and also to Skukune. But as far as the mindset of the players and as well of the technical team and all that, are we ready for the cup? I think for, for any team or for any squad to get to the final, it means they are ready to, to go on and lift the trophy. And it goes both ways uh, to. To Orlando Pirates and to Skukuna. Uh, Orlando Pirates maybe do have the edge because they've already won a trophy. This yeah. year. A knockout trophy, maybe that's the edge that they have over Skukuna to say they were able to hold the nerves in the MTN final and be able to win it. Uh, maybe that's the only advantage that Orlando Pirates has over Skukuna. 
So we get up the parks. You really live up to that. You don't get into it. It's up, up and up. Um, it's going to be very unfair. Uh, I would say that if Harris had won a triple, yeah. I would use that statement. But for now, I hope you need it. Mr. Waimodi, you stay in the humility in all, in all these. No, thank you very much for your time, leader. Okay.